Hi everyone. Thank you for joining us today in this video. We're going to be reacting to a comedy. And the title of the comedy is Women Know Your Limits. The reason I'm reacting to this is because um, in recent times there have been a um, comedian, I think it's Matt Riffle, I reacted to his comedy, um, that has been cancelled for a joke that he told uh, with regards to DV. So I listened to the joke. It was only a snippet. Um, I think I might need to go pick it up. From what I saw anyway, I was just um, curious as to how we got to that position. And I wanted to see what it is that people said back then and also what the major channels did as a result of that. Like, for example, this one was on the BBC. So let's go check it out. Um, oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, let's go. It's only a short clip. It's like two minutes long or something. So it says, look, listen, and take heed. Public improvement. Oh, okay. Um, I'm assuming that's the whole sort of thing. An ordinary dinner party. The sort of occasion we all enjoy. The men are exchanging witty stories. And look at the women. Aren't they pretty? Look at the way they laugh. They're delightful. But now the conversation turns to more serious matters. I wonder if the government should return to the gold standard. I think it should. Good. Then we're all agreed. But, oh dear, what's this? One of the women is about to embarrass us all. I think the government should stay off the gold standard so that the pound can reach a level that will keep our exports competitive. The lady has foolishly attempted to join the conversation with a wild and dangerous opinion of her own. What half-baked <laughs> drivel. Oh, okay. So, was she not meant to say anything? Is that what, is that, what that meant? She she was meant to be quiet. Okay. What's competitive? The lady has foolishly attempted to join the conversation with a wild and dangerous opinion of her own. What half-baked drivel. <laughs> See how the men look at her with utter contempt. Yeah, they were going home. <gasps> Women, know your limits. <laughs> Look at the effect of education on a man and a woman's mind. Education passes into the mind of a man. See how the information is evenly and tidily stored. Now see the same thing on a woman. At first we see a similar result. But now look, still at a reasonably low level of education, her brain suddenly overloads. She cannot take in complicated information. She becomes frantically and absurdly deranged. Look at these venomous halidans. They went to university. Hard to believe they're all under 25. Yes, over-education leads to ugliness, premature aging, and beard growth. <laughs> now let's see the proper way. Good. So we're all agreed. We should return to the gold standard. Oh, I don't know anything about the gold standard, I'm afraid, but I do love little kittens. <laughs> they're so soft and furry. What a delightful thought, you dear, sweet, fragile little thing. <laughs> Women, know your limits. In thought, be plain and simple, and let your natural sweetness shine through. Oh, dear. Um... <laughs> dear. Okay. Um... What do you say to that? I'm just, uh, I'm just a little bit. Okay, they actually played that then, and it was okay. There was no, um, no kickback or nothing. Surely they've got to have been some level of kickback. Ooh. Do you know what's going through my head? And what I'm thinking about is, can you imagine? Ooh. 
Um, Ooh, how do you word this? <laughs> no, no. And the thing that is, that, and I think I've said this before, the whole idea of comedy is about, um, it's about being able to joke about ourselves, isn't it? The bit around the education, though. Oof. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to, how to go around that bit. The extreme of comedy before now was um, was next level, isn't it? Um, I I'm just surprised I wasn't. Ooh, Pe- obviously people are able. People should be able to give their own opinion. People should. It doesn't mean it. It doesn't mean that we're always right. What that offers is is a balance, isn't it? It it, it offers us um, an alternative um, option that we may have not considered. Uh, but so we've gone from this. We've gone from this to where we are now. Where if you mention the wrong thing you point at the wrong person, you, um, <laughs> you you laugh at the wrong thing. We've got to remember that the idea of wrong or right is dictated by the, by the, um, the people of the day and the agenda of the day. So if the agenda of the day is we're discussing women, um, so that becomes that, or we're discussing whatever it is or, or at that point in time. I, I, I'm just, I'm just very um, mindful that that's what, <sighs> that's how we dictate it. So you, sometimes you don't even know until you're cancelled. Mm, when the, the, the more appropriate way of managing stuff like this would be everybody have their opportunity to have that debate if you do if you agree or disagree yes they say why why do you disagree why do you agree what we don't want to do is create a bunch of robots um back in the days it was um very different isn't it uh okay interesting <laughs> interesting um interesting comedy but the thing there is comedy has evolved over time as well isn't it and i would say it's about knowing your audience that's what i would say um that goes both ways as well so as a as somebody going to watch a comedy show you should know what that artist is all about and if it's somebody that you are interested in and you would be okay with um, embracing what it is that they are going to give without getting offended and yeah by all means um otherwise it's no good going there and then getting offended by what they are why they what they're coming out with and then you're like oh my days i can't believe they're so rude did you look before because some people they don't give a monkeys they just say it as it is because it's a comedy show and um that's how some people find those sort of content um entertaining why well, some people don't like i said there's some comedians i do not find funny one bit there's no point me even bothering to go there because i just wouldn't enjoy myself it's just a waste of time and then there are some where yes that like dave Chappelle, like uh, trevor noah and stuff like that intellectual sort of comedy yes you've got the silly ones as well that are quite funny like this dude this matt dude i listened to his comedy i was like i don't really find you funny dude <laughs> it's like but it's just and maybe somebody else would use those same repackage those contents and then do it in a different way and i'll find it funny it's just each to your own isn't it Oof. let me know in the comment section below what you think about this one um and if you have the opportunity to check that matt riff or riffle or something like that check out what got him in trouble 
um, and then try and compare it to this one and um, maybe you might be able to see why I reacted to this one I look forward to hearing from you guys in the comment section below until next time guys it has been kinks peace bye for now oh don't forget to check out the podcast <laughs>